Hey guys, Andrea Photo here and today we're gonna do a mini review on the Fujifilm 16mm f2.8 WR. Let's get to it. So today for this review, we'll be doing a POV of street photography here in Baguio City. I'll be including some sample images I took with the 16mm f2.8 and I'll be giving my thoughts, preliminary thoughts on the 16mm f2.8. So a little bit of background about this lens. Um, this is my friend Nico's lens and I really wanted to borrow it because I've never shot this wide of a focal length on for my street photography POV vlogs. I've always used my Fujifilm X100V which has a 23mm lens or a 35mm equivalent and I've always used my X-Pro2 with the 35mm f2 attached to it so that that gives it a 50mm equivalent in full frame. So basically I've only shot on 35mm and 50mm. This is my first time shooting on Fuji 16mm or 24mm full frame equivalent. So this lens is a bit wide so we took it to the best to the place that I think would fit it best, which is in the Baguio City Public Market, which is a bit crowded and a bit compre a bit uh, a bit stuffy, if you will. So it served as the perfect place to test out a wide-angle lens and to see if I could fit everything into the into the frame. So as I said again, there will be a little bit of POV mixed in with this mini review, and there will be sample images. Small disclaimer: the sample images are edited. I didn't include sample images that aren't edited because I just wanted to put my own treatment in the sample images that I'm gonna present to you guys. So my opinions about the lens. So the focal length was very challenging for me because I, I felt like I had to fit so much into the frame. I felt like I couldn't isolate my subject the same way that I isolated them with my 35mm and 50mm lenses. I felt like it I really had to take time to compose my image and I had to wait for the right time for things to walk into the frame for it to be complete because this lens is perfect if you want to do layering, if you want to fit foreground, subject, and background into the shot. But it's, it's well, it's a 24mm equivalent. It really sucks at subject isolation. It's either that or uh, maybe the busy marketplace was a bit challenging for me to isolate a subject in. For the photo walk with this lens, I tried to approach capturing images with it the same way that I do with landscape photography. I tried to include a foreground, the subject, and the background. So one of the shots that uh, I'm gonna use as an example, which was a good use of foreground, subject, and background, is this bottle shot that I took. For me, this is the best, one of the best ways to use a wide-angle lens. If you fit the subject, the foreground, and the background into one image, and it's a bit of this, it's a bit distorted. So for me, this bottle shot shows the capability of the lens or shows what it can do best. Okay, so let's talk about autofocus speed. During this photo walk, I found that the autofocus hunted a little. And then I found also that at some times it wasn't spot on. Um, I'll include some sample images here where I thought that the autofocus broke or hunted. Uh, mind you, I was in autofocus continuous mode. Subjects were moving and I just found this lens to have a little bit trouble getting that autofocus, that snappy autofocus. Okay, for sharpness, man, that was something I was really surprised with this lens. This lens is sharp as fuck. Sorry, sharp AF rather. I was very surprised with the sharpness and the clarity of this lens. Um, I'll include some photos here, but one photo that really that really surprised me was this photo here of this lady or man in the market. I really can't tell, but I'm assuming a lady. I took this photo with very nice backlight and the subject was a bit 
silhouetted. There was a nice rim light around the subject. Since using the 16mm focal length, I was a bit far from the subject, so I couldn't really get that close. But when I cropped this image, I found that it was still very, very tack sharp and the quality was amazing. I don't know if it's just this, but I'll also include this scene that I took, uh, this market day scene. Um, I didn't crop this image so much, but I found that it was just very, very sharp and the quality was amazing. So for the sharpness, I would have to say that this is a very, very sharp lens. You can cut yourself with it. Final thoughts on this lens. This was the first wide angle lens I've used for street photography and I found it very challenging. I found it hard to isolate subjects, and but I found it perfect for layering. I found it perfect for including environmental shots where you want to include as much of the scene as possible to show the viewer where you are and what it feels like in that place that you in, are in, rather. This lens forces me to think more, forces me to step back, pause, take a minute and think about the composition of the subject, or the composition of the shot rather. Yeah, but basically that's it. The wide angle offers a unique perspective on street photography. Environmental shots will be great here. Layering, you can also practice your layering a lot with this lens. Now the question is, I just borrowed this lens from my friend Nico and I recently learned that he was selling it. So right now, I'm still a bit torn whether to get this lens because I already have the 10 to 24, the Fujifilm 10 to 24 f4. But maybe that's another that's another comparison. Maybe that's another comparison video in the future. Um, but as to get this lens, huh? Why would I get this lens? Well, number one, it offers a different perspective. It's wide angle. It's great for environmental shots and layering, as already previously mentioned. It's small and lightweight and weather resistant, so I think it would make a street photography kit or a travel kit complete because the kit I'm thinking about right now consists mostly of Fujicrons. Fujicrons are the tiny, I don't know if you've heard the term, but they're the tiny Fujifilm lenses that are weather resistant, that are very light, uh, very compact, but still pack a punch. So I've been thinking about completing a Fujicron lineup for street photography and travel because I always have to consider the weight. So yeah, that's it guys. That's the video. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. So again, I'm Andrea Photo. I do street photography and landscape photography here in Baguio City. That was my review. Let me know what other lenses you want me to review. Uh, maybe I'll do a maybe I'll do a in-depth review in the future if I actually buy the lens from my friend Nico. Um, so yeah, that's Andrea Photo signing off. I'll see you guys in the next one.